Hello friends, this is Abhijit Paul. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create an S3 storage or you can say a bucket inside S3. So when we talk about storage in AWS cloud, there is something called as a block storage and there is something called as object storage. For block storage, AWS has given something called as EBS, that is Elastic Block Storage, which normally is always connected to the virtual machine or the instances what you create. And what we are going to see now is the S3. S3 is object storage. What is an object? Anything that you put or access from a storage is called as an object. In AWS cloud, the AWS allows the object size. The limit of object size is up to 5 TB. So each object can be up to 5 TB size. Then whenever you are giving some bucket name, which you are going to see, that bucket name should be always unique. So that should be unique inside the, you can say, the AWS. That is, it should not get repeated inside AWS that someone is using it and again you are using the same name. So that, that should not be there. And remember that S3 bucket is always considered as a starting point to store the data. As what actually we say in Windows, it is C drive. Same like that. S3 bucket is considered as a starting point to store the data. Now we will see how to create that bucket. So click on services. Then you can see storage option. Click on S3. Then once you click on S3, you can see now there is option called as create bucket. We do not have any bucket created. So it is showing no buckets. So I will click on create bucket. Then you have to type the bucket name. You can see here also bucket name must be unique and must contain spaces or upper case must not contain upper uh, case or spaces. So I will give my bucket name as test abhi. So I have given the bucket name. Next, in which region you want to create this bucket. So that region you can select from here. And then important thing, whenever we are creating a bucket, they, then this particular bucket can be, you can say a private. If you want that bucket to be, you can say public, that is everyone can access this particular storage. Then to make it, or you can say uh, allow the public to access this particular bucket. What we have to do? You have to just remove this tick mark, block all public access. You will just remove this tick mark. Once you remove this tick mark, what will happen? Now this bucket access will be available to all the public. So it is now a public bucket or public storage and not a private storage. But when you can say talk of, you can say uh, something related with security. What what they have given? So they have given some advanced settings. That is object lock. So if I enable this object lock, what will happen? It will permanently allow objects in this budget to be locked. Additional configuration is required after bucket creation to protect objects in this budget bucket after being deleted or overwritten. Now due to this what will happen if object lock is actually enabled then what what actually is activated write once read many. So this will actually prevent objects from being deleted or overwritten for a fixed amount of time or indefinitely. So it will allow you to write once and read many. So you can write one, but you cannot write multiple things. So that option is available in the advanced option. 
then it is showing you you can say a warning that turning of uh, turning of block or public access might result in this bucket and objects with within becoming public so if if you are actually okay with that you have to say that i acknowledge the current settings uh, and that will become public and then you can click on create bucket so now you can see when i click on create bucket the bucket with the same name already exist so maybe i will give some number so let's see and now you can see we have successfully created that bucket the bucket name is test abi so if i click on that particular bucket i will get the information you can say about the bucket okay so you can click on properties you will get the versioning option then static web hosting if you want to use this particular bucket for actual as a web server you can use that also then permissions if you go to the permissions this is the option which we actually turned off block public access there is access control list also there is a bucket policy also okay so you can set bucket policy then management of the uh, bucket is there so you can uh, put the life cycle that how many days actually the data should be uh, in the you can say the uh, uh, normally usable mode then it will go to the you can say the warm storage and then it will go to the cold and then it will get deleted so the whole data life cycle can be decided over here so uh, this is how we can create you can say the bucket and while clicking this particular bucket you get the information so remember how we can you can say create the bucket okay how we can you can say access it okay and once once you actually set the permissions and everything then you can start using this particular storage and then you can say this storage can be used for anything you can say the data to be stored or maybe you can connect it with you can say any machine to you can say store the data if you want to remove the bucket just click on the bucket and say delete it will ask you for you can say confirmation it will it is asking with the name of the bucket so the name is test b 15 and i will say delete so now the bucket has been successfully deleted so this is all about how we can create a bucket or you can say the s3 s3 storage inside aws storage services option and how we can use it how we can uh, allow that particular bucket to be used for public access how we can set the permissions how we can set the policies all these things we have seen thank you very much for watching this video